is up, alien army? I am Oculus, Oculus the, alien the alien next, next door, door. purveyor of, of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything out of this world. So, today as you can see, I have my channel and headphones on. And we're just going to do an impromptu pick a card reading. Uh, don't know really what the topic is going to be. It's just going to be maybe like messages coming up for you for the next week or I don't know, just like forward movement type of stuff. So again, not really sure what this reading is going to be about, but you know, we're just going to find out what messages are meant to find you right now. I was guided to do this and do some FaceTime also. So here we are and I'll be jamming with my music. So if I'm talking loud and I like zone out for a minute, you know why. So I'm going to have some images appear on the screen. Pick what resonates with you, group number one, group number two, group number three. Timestamps will be listed below and I will see you in your reading. Okay, so let's get started here with group number one. I'm gonna be using the same deck for all of the car, uh, for all the piles. So we're just gonna attempt to shuffle here and then I'm gonna show you what's going on. Group number one. Two already fell out. Let's just see if we could go for three. All right, we have some winners here. How did I, what? See, thank you universe, I knew this was coming. Okay, so we have the four of uh, coins here. We have the wheel of fortune and that's the one that I knew was gonna come up for whatever reason. And then we have uh, the ace of pentacles, coins, whatever, tomato, tomato. Okay. Um, all right. Whoop. So for you guys, group number one, I feel that a special talisman is going to make its way into your experience soon or you have a special talisman or an amulet that's going to help bring you luck. I feel though that you're a little too maybe reliant or dependent on this special talisman to bring you luck and what's going on is that you need to realize that this special talisman that you're relying on is you. It's your energy that's charging up this talisman and powering it up to your advantage so i feel what and this is very specific but that's what i got for you and it's something physical it's something that you can touch physically okay um or it's gonna make its way to you or perhaps you should invest in getting a talisman but don't become too attached to the talisman or if you already have one loosen your grip on this magical talisman and uh, know that all the power is within you so I feel some of you also might have lost something uh, that you consider like a lucky XYZ uh, or you might have misplaced it or something like that. I feel like it is going to present itself to you in your experience again as if by magic. So it might be something that you, you were like, where can it be? I know that I would never misplace this thing, but you, I don't know what, what just happened there. Uh, so you might be like, I just misplaced this thing uh, and you're a little bit on edge about it because you rely so heavily on this thing for, for what you consider to be luck, but it is going to present itself to you. So this is saying that um, right now your lucky talisman become less attached to it or uh, find something to invest in that's going to be your lucky talisman. But, you know, charge it up with your energy first, but know that the power is coming from within you and, and the talisman is really uh, like a, a bridge betwixt 3D and 5D and above energy and that's really the gateway, the doorway, but you are the doorway. So in, a, in, in essence, you are this talisman. I know that's a really weird, weird thing, but that's the first message that I got. Okay, so let me see if there's another message. Again, I, this would be random. This might be something if I said this is for like a weekly forecast, this might be happening within the week that you see this video. Okay, yeah, so what's going on here? We have the Hierophant, the Hierophant, 
all right and this is telling me this is more earth energy so yeah but this is also earth energy blended with like spirituality like this is someone who uh has command okay over their physical environment via spiritual method um this can also point to some rigidity so that's what i'm saying i feel like you're basing too much on this this physical thing okay uh and what you need to do is take that power within you and then and then you reclaim your own power by knowing that you manipulate all that is in the third dimension from the higher plane you are the puppet master um and you're gonna see evidence of that in this coming week from whenever you watch this okay so we have two aces already in the reading we had the ace of pen, uh, coins pentacles now we have the ace of cups nine of cups oh yeah so some of you might be in for like a love message and we have another look at this now we have the king of coins okay so uh yeah i feel like also for some of you now this might be for the same uh, it's the same group it, it's group one but uh this this might resonate differently okay because remember anything oh, this is anything goes here impromptu reading so this might be a message for you or it might not be all right you'll know if this is a message for you but again um with that talisman okay uh also what we have here is uh the potential for new love and happiness uh you know uh a new beginning and maybe a relationship that's going on now maybe a new potential for a relationship that's already going on and this has potential for physical stability so uh for some of you that were uh thinking about the talisman and that resonated with you and you're too attached to something physical uh for some of you it might be um like, I don't know, let's say you're, you go on dates, right? You've gone on a few dates with this particular person and you always brought your lucky whatever it is and then you misplace it and then you're like, oh man, now I'm not going to see them again because I misplaced whatever. But when you let go of that, uh, the relationship is going to progress naturally. Or if you're not resonating with the talisman thing also, this is showing me that this is... Um, uh, a really good potential for like uh, rekindling the spark with with uh, someone that you already know uh, to bring you happiness. This is showing me that there's a potential here. If you are talking to someone, there is a, a potential for like a stable and solid commitment uh, between you and this person. Um, and this is also showing me that like a new offer of uh, emotional intimacy. Uh, is going to be presented to you this week okay so again this it might not be the person but it might be um an offer of intimacy even you becoming more intimate with yourself knowing what you particularly want in a relationship what is going to help you be stable uh in a relationship what you want what's going to make you feel good and safe and secure in a relationship i feel like something like that uh what makes you happy in a relationship is going to come up this week uh, so let's see about this relationship if there's anything else looking okay so there you go this is a good chance also I don't know if you can even see that but um, yeah this is someone looking at their phone so there might be a potential for you to be looking for for like a new love you might find them online just because we have that like telephone energy there so uh, pardon me I'm just gonna like change the music a little bit here um, but there's like a potential to like meet a new person online. That's what I'm seeing uh, for some of you. Okay, so uh, what else are we doing? Um, if this would like let me click out of here. Um, so uh, let's see what else we want to get. Maybe one more message and then uh, I'm all over the place, but you know, it's okay right uh let's see if this is love and commitment okay yeah so look at this we have the knight of cups here okay so yeah there's a potential if you go online looking for someone uh you might uh find something beneficial out of that meeting 
Uh, there's definitely new love being presented to you on the way, whether this talisman thing, and, and listen, that talisman thing, that was meant for somebody, because that came in, like, loud and clear, okay? So, if it wasn't for you, it wasn't for you, but that, that was meant for someone, I know that. So, uh, but there definitely is, like, a, a big-time offer of, of love here. There might be someone who... Uh, you didn't think was serious about you, but they're actually looking for the same thing you want in terms of ooh Fuck yes, there might be like Okay, uh, so <laughs> Pardon me while I jam There's a potential for like a really good like relationship partnership here Okay, and they they're looking for the same thing that you're looking for and I feel like it's time for like the two energies to to meet and intermesh with each other. Okay, so that's really what I got for uh, group number one. Uh, what's going on this week? So let let me get into group number two. Like I said, this is gonna be an impromptu reading. I'm just gonna be using the same deck because that's what I was guided to do. And you know, I don't really follow no rules. I just just do what I do. So group number two, what's going on with you? Upcoming week, impromptu. What messages does group want? Does group two need to know? Oh, okay. The hanged man. Group number two, you got two of coins. And then we have the hermit. Well, of course, you're group number two and you're the one that's gonna be presented with choices, right, this week, so... Yeah, we got Virgo, Pisces, Axis energy here. We got Two of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to be a very spiritually inclined week for you. Very um, physically healing, very emotionally healing, very soothing. Those are the energies that are coming through right now with this impromptu reading. It's like you have a decision to make, okay? You could either... Uh, do a 180 and uh, take action that you never took before. You know that that's saying that if you want something you never had, you must do something you've never done. That's what I'm sensing. Or you could uh, withdraw and retreat and go back to the old ways that you've been doing things. So this is really a pivotal moment right now this week because you have a big decision to make this week. Yeah, bro. Yes, you do. Oh, snap! What? I love this. Thank you, universe. We got the tower. Okay. So we have the tower here. We already have three majors and a big decision to make. This is a te this is going to change the course of your life. And notice this is like, this tower, it's not like a disastrous tower, okay? That's why I always look at the symbolism of each individual deck, all right? So th this is not like it's going to be anything disastrous that, that's going to happen. This is something that I feel like you already felt coming. You felt it coming. It's not unexpected, which is why the tower isn't crumbled. This is something you, that already kind of built up momentum, And what's going to go on here is that this week, it, it's, I mean, it's a big decision. Don't get me wrong. This is like, you know, pivotal, potentially life changing. Okay. Um, but this is a decision that's going to be presented to you that, um, you're, you're gonna, you're either going to step forward into growth, into a whole new you, or you're going to shrink back into the way that you've always done things. Okay. So Whatever decision you're going to make, this is boom, going to straight, direct, no holds barred, have an impact on like, in a big way on the rest of your experience, group number two. So, oh snap, and that, thank you universe! Okay, 
So we had the two of pentacles and now we have another two for group number two, two of cups. Wow. So this could be choosing between two people, um, two different relationships. This could be choosing between following your heart and following your minds, which is why we have this Virgo Pisces access here with the hanged man and the hermit. Um, this is going to be very spiritually healing. Now, I view the tower particularly for me as a very spiritual card. So, uh, because it's showing you, it, it's sort of like altering the direction of, of your life. You know what I mean? It, it's showing you like the, the way things were before um, are have not been working, okay? And you kind of sense that because remember with this particular tower, um, it's not nothing is destroyed, right? It's just it's still standing. So I feel like you did sense the undercurrents of this um, decision spinning in the background. And what's going to happen? This really might be between two different people, or it might be choosing between. Um, again, I said your your heart and your mind, but I feel it's more like giving something a chance that you never thought you would versus reacting or withdrawing or responding in the same way you always have. So that's really what I'm seeing. I mean, it might be too, like this, I feel like this is like deep. So what's I need to know? It might be about a relationship. Can I, oh, snap. So we have the King of Cups. So yeah, I definitely see this might be as a relationship type of situation. Just cause emotions are involved here. Okay. so. Uh, there might be something going on in your relationship. It might be, uh, do you want to stay with this person? Do you want to leave? Do you want to keep entertaining this? Or do you want to just, you know, uh, spread your wings and fly away type of deal? It might be something to do with that. So if this is like, let's just do like choice number one. We're going to do this oracle here. Oh, snap. Choice number two. We're going to do another oracle here. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay, so for choice number one, we got guilt. And I didn't really call it like for you to pick which choice is going to be which. So don't worry about that. This is just more for me to see like more info and insight on the two paths that I'm seeing you. And then the, the second choice is deception. Okay, so one choice I really sense is not going to be obviously the right choice here, but one choice, one choice, one choice is not presenting itself to you clearly. So, and, and again, this, you know, I'm not saying which is which because I'm not even picking up on, you know, uh, conveying that type of information because that's not what's coming through. What's coming through is that one choice is you're not seeing it accurately at all. You're not seeing it uh, clearly. And the other choice is like, I feel it's sort of like you, you, um, you would only choose that because you feel guilty for something. Okay. Or someone made you feel guilty. It's not a choice that you really want, but I think it's the choice that might feel more logical. Whereas the other choice, it might be presenting itself in more of a rose tinted uh, spectacles type of deal, but it's not all that it seems to be. And now again, deception, okay? Like this does not typically, um, you know, typically. Uh, this typically means that there's something negative attached to it, but I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing that one choice you would like stay stay in that realm because of guilt for whatever reason and the other choice it's like you'd want to step forward but you don't have the full picture so that's perhaps why you don't want to step forward into that second choice so um and this is going to be somewhat of a pivotal moment it might be a relationship so again we have that guilt there with the broken heart um all right two came up let's see wow yeah so we have uh, the world and we have the six of swords. So what this is symbolizing to me, one of these choices is kind of old and stagnant. It's sort of run its course. It's already completed and it's time to move on from that, okay? So it might be um, 
or with the choices it could be you um, deciding to move on from whatever situation that was and moving forward that might be the choice stay or go or it might be the choice to um, you know you're finding reasons to to stay in it because it, it was such a solid thing but you really should move forward into like the uncharted territories even though um you don't know really where you're going you're just like it, it's more of like an unstable type of thing but you're moving forward in it because that's just what you decided to do so it, it might be it might be a time to to realize you know when something has already been completed like what is there to do you know like are, are you like i'm picturing like a i don't know like a, a coffin or something and it's like are you like it's already dead and buried are you gonna keep going back every day and open up the coffin and watch it decompose or are you just gonna let bygones be bygones be like okay you know that happened it's past let me move forward and not watch that decay not stay in that energy of decay i don't know if that made sense but that's really the energy that that i'm just picking up with this choice it's it's sort of like um and it doesn't necessarily have to be a person obviously but i really feel like maybe you would feel guilty like moving forward with yourself because of something um because uh, the other choice is deceptive to you it's not clear it might feel right but then you're hesitant because you're like well I've never been there so is it lying to me is this like do you get what I'm saying it's sort of like this because it's unknown it's deceptive to you because you can only project from where you've already been onto something that's unknown therefore you're sort of creating from what you already know and you're projecting it onto the unknown but it's not real okay so you're not seeing it for what it is you're seeing it from the place the places that you've been to already you're not seeing it seeing the other choice as accurate because you've never been in that state before i really hope that made sense this was a deep one um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say on that. It's just going to be a pivotal moment of you really like shrinking backward or, or moving forward into growth and, and evolution. Okay. So that's going to be presented to you somehow this week. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys. Group number two. I am Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. So let me move on to group number three here, and we're just freestyling it today, so let's find out what's going on with group number three. And I don't know why I was guided to do this, um, but I just was. Typically I leave the cards out, you know, so you can see them the entire time, but this time I was just like, I don't know, but when the universe wants me to do something, I do that. Oh wow, okay. So for overarching energy, this is what I felt like called to pull for your reading. It says the end done. We have Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Fool. Wow. Okay. So yeah, th this is boom. This is all this is, is like fast movement, moving forward into like a new cycle of your experience. You've already uh, passed. Um, you've already went through a cycle, whatever that is. Okay. I don't know if it has to do with a relationship. It might've been a karmic relationship that, that finished. Um, it might be It might be a phase of your experience that you just got through. It might have been a spiritual awakening. It might have been something even to do with like your health, career, spirituality, something. But a major phase in your experience is done. And it's time for you to move swiftly forward into uh, the new and the novel. 
okay um and it's gonna move fast so whatever chapter that was it ended but it's like you ever have like a page turner book where you can't put it down and you're like like you just want to get on to the next chapter that's what i feel is going on like this next chapter is already here and what's going on is that you are moving forward super super fast what do we have awaiting you on the other side okay so and i really feel like you know it's done you know it's time to like move forward step forward okay so we have the ace of swords and boom thank you universe just as i said you know that you need to move forward then we got the ultimate card of clarity right the ace of swords so you already know this i feel like it's something um I don't even feel like it was an unwanted ending. I feel like it was a welcome ending to like that part of your life. And then we have uh, the Three of Swords. And then we have, whoa, two knights up in here. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so a lot of movement going on here. A lot of movement, all right? Um, so what I see is going on, you know, this might have been a relationship situation and it might be like you're you're kind of like good riddance or something like that uh i know that sounds a little like blunt but i kind of feel that or you're just fed up you're you're like literally the end done um i feel it moving really fast though so even if this it might be someone that you were fed up with again it might have been a cycle it might have been a karmic relationship cycle but i feel like you already know this is done like you're just over it um i feel like this situation whatever it was whether it's like a relationship or or elsewhere in in your psyche or whatever that it was causing you a lot of grief and a lot of like mental anguish and stress so it's sort of like you're relieved that it's done and you're ready to move forward into uh, a more smooth sailing emotionally fulfilling chapter in your experience and that is coming so if this is a relationship and let's say you just broke up with someone um or you had like an on again off again thing with like a toxic person or whatever you're kind of like okay i'm done with that and now it's time to like bring in the new because that that stress and anxiety that wasn't serving you that's already done that's out of here right the end bye bye okay and if this is about a relationship i do see someone new coming in for you here so what's the new cycle i definitely okay yep nine of swords so i feel like the worst is kind of like you, you've already been through that like you've already kind of faced your fears you battled your demons eight of swords yeah see we have these numbers progressing first to nine then the eight of swords we have a lot of air energy here a lot of swift movement might be a lot of air in your chart or like if this is a relationship in their chart um but yeah like this is a lot of like swift uh movement okay uh, you're coming out of it rapidly like you're you're decreasing in anxiety about this situation even as I'm uh, you know speaking here now we have the six of pentacles so this is something where you're coming on a more even playing field where the the next person that's presenting themselves to you they're going to be more on your level and uh, it's not going to be someone that's going to cause you like grief or heartache or stress or whatever that case so um the the cycle of your experience that's ending is like sorrow grief anxiety racing thoughts uh nightmares that keep you up at night and things like that it's all of that is ending it's done it's over and obviously that's going to be like a welcome relief for you so what do we need to know i don't know i'm sensing this is might be about a relationship or something so what is this wow we have another ace holy shit okay um so we have now this fella which is the ace of wands so i see like a new like passionate individual coming in four of cups okay um i feel like it's like you might not appreciate this person that's coming in for you right away but they are going to be someone who's stable and who's um grounded perhaps more grounded than you especially if you're the one that has a lot of air energy in your chart um there's someone new coming in i feel like you're you're gonna look at them as sort of like a booty call or a fling or like someone who's flirtatious and they're you know um 
they're just kind of playing the field. I feel like that this person though does have, uh, is gonna have or does have, depending where you're at in your journey, um, more feelings for you uh, than they let on, okay? Um, but I feel like it might be a little while for you to recognize um, their feelings for you, if that makes sense, okay? Um, let me see if this is about another area in your life here. If it's not about a relationship, let me just get like, wow, we have another night. So we have a lot of movement. So whatever this cycle is, it's already poof, be gone. It's already done, right? So we have the Knight of uh, Wands here, okay? So this is really you wanting to move forward, kind of have a fresh start. If this is not about a relationship, it might be you wanting to have a fresh start with like, um, you know, a new career or something like that with the Three of Pentacles, okay? You um, might want to switch jobs or something of that nature, get on a more like uh, stable and solid foundation where you can actually build from. And then with the High Priestess here, it's like, I feel like you've already intuitively seen where you want to go with this, uh, if this has nothing to do with a relationship. For the relationship, I feel it's more like brand new energy. It's not something that you could have foreseen, but it's going to be positive, but it might take a little while for the relationship to get off the ground because you might not realize this new person's feelings for you right away. If it's not about a relationship, then I see that like you are moving forward swiftly into this new career or new business partnership or something of that nature, a new way to increase your finances and you were intuitively guided there. Like you, you already know that that's what's going on. So either which way you, you just finished a cycle or you're finishing a cycle. That's a great relief for you to be out of because it's ending this anxiety and this nonsensical fear and things like that. And it's bringing you like a fresh new perspective very, very rapidly. Uh, that you already know is coming, but if it's a relationship, it's going to be more of like, um, like you, you're not going to realize this new person's feelings for you. Um, you might not appreciate them right away. You might have like someone who's trying to court you right now that you're not really interested in only to find out later that, you know, you really can have something solid and stable with them. If this is about like, uh, you know, a, a career or like a business or money finance type of thing, then I see that you are moving forward into that uh, to have like a solid foundation for you to build from. And uh, from that business perspective, this is something that you kind of intuitively already had in mind for yourself. Okay, so that is what I got for you, group number three. Uh, you know, one cycle ending, new cycle beginning, you know, and you're just hurry up. You want to get to the next chapter because the book is so exciting. All right. So uh, that's it. I am Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon.